Hello, and welcome to this episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. On today's program, I thought we would take a look at all the uh, postcards uh, that I've received lately through postcrossing.com, as well as uh, friend swaps and a couple surprises. Uh, it's been a little over three weeks since I uh, did an incoming mail video, uh, so I thought it was time uh, to do one. Uh, to be honest, I've been um, slow at writing postcards uh, since the first of the year. I've really been concentrating on um, the philately side of things and uh, building up my, my stamp collection, organizing my stamp albums. Uh, so if you are someone that, uh, that I swap with regularly, uh, I apologize. Uh, I will be getting cards in the mail hopefully this week and, uh, and get those out to you. Uh, so be looking for those. So a lot of uh, a lot of incoming uh, cards over the past uh, few weeks. So let's get right to them. Uh, first, we'll do the official cards. Uh, this is the first postcard. Uh, this comes from Germany. I really love this card. Almost reminds you of uh, of the Ukrainian flag, doesn't it? Um. But this comes from a person who in Germany who says that they are actually uh, about to move out of their flat, that they are just waiting on the, uh, the moving people to get there and help them move. So I hope you had a, had a really great move and uh, didn't have any issues there. And there is the stamp. This next postcard is from Canada, and it is a really big postcard compared to the uh, the previous one. Uh, this is, a, of course, a Star Wars postcard, and that is an Ewok. Uh, so I really enjoy this postcard. And this comes from Elaine uh, in Canada. And so thank you so much, Elaine, for sending me this card. I really, really appreciate it. And then there is the stamp that Elaine has included. Next official postcard is again from Germany. And we have this postcard of this uh, really beautiful black and white bunny. And uh, this one isn't signed. Oh, it says, hello, my name is Millie, sorry. Um, and that uh, Millie says she hopes I like the card and I really do. I really like rabbits. And there is the, uh, the Christmas stamp, and then the flower stamp there from Germany. And uh, she has included some stickers, so very nice. Thank you very much. We have another card from Germany, and it's this card here. I really like this card. This is a really thick card, too. Uh, I really like it with a mailbox full of, uh, full of Christmas gifts. And once again, the, uh, the German Christmas stamp. And uh, the person has just really, uh, really decorated with, uh, with washi and stickers. And so I really like this. So thank you so much for that one. This next postcard is a really nice postcard. I love mailboxes and I, I like old mailboxes and... Uh, I like the kind of exposed brick wall architecture. So very happy uh, to receive this card. And then there is the stamp. Oh, this card is from Greece. Uh, I don't get too many uh, too many postcards from Greece. I, I've got a, a couple in the past. Uh, so this is uh, just... Uh, one of a handful of cards that I've received from Greece, but a really beautiful card and I really like the mailboxes. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, this next postcard is again from Germany. Uh, this is from Klaus, uh, who lives in Germany and uh, Klaus sends me uh, this Star Wars card. This is from uh, Star Wars uh, Episode 1. And so... Uh, 
He says that uh, he likes also likes sci-fi movies, and he grew up watching the original Star Wars. Um, I also grew up watching the original Star Wars. The first movie that I ever saw uh, in the theater uh, was Return of the Jedi uh, when I was young. And uh, so our youngest daughter, when our youngest daughter was born, uh, this movie came out, uh, Episode 1. Uh, so... I took her to see Star Wars Episode One uh, for her first movie in the theater. Uh, unfortunately, she was really small, and she slept through the whole movie, and she doesn't remember it. In fact, she's not even really much of a Star Wars fan, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we both share the fact that we saw Star Wars movies uh, as our first movie uh, in the theater. So thank you, Klaus, for that. And then uh, there is the wonderful stamp that, uh, that he has included on this postcard. Uh, the next postcard is uh, from Sandra, and Sandra lives in Portugal, and she has sent me uh, this postcard. It's a really nice image that I really enjoy. And she says she is a, a teacher, and she teaches uh, children uh, from six to nine years old. So, Sandra, if you're watching, thank you. I know it's not easy being a teacher but I know that uh, none of us would be where we're at uh, without the positive influences that uh, teachers have had in our lives. So thank you so much for, for what you do. And then moving on is uh, this postcard. And I believe that this is a, uh, a first for me. Uh, this, comes from, uh, this comes from Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, and so I did a little research, uh, this, uh, this car right here, this, uh, this train is a, uh, is a very notable thing in Istanbul. Uh, they used to have lots of tram systems running, some running to Europe, some running to, uh, to Asia, and they have brought them back, uh, in recent years. Uh, so the, uh, the trams are very popular, uh, there in Istanbul. Uh, so this card comes, and I'm sorry, I cannot read uh, the name of the person who sent it. I'm so sorry. Uh, but they ask if I've ever been uh, to Turkey. I've never been to Turkey. Uh, I watch a lot of, uh, of travel programs, especially uh, travel shows that go to Europe and things like that. And so I've seen a few travel shows about uh, Istanbul and about Turkey. And it looks like a, a lovely place with lots of uh, rich culture and history. Uh, so perhaps one day... Um, my wife and I will get to travel there, but uh, as of yet, I haven't uh, I haven't been there. But thank you for the lovely card, and uh, I really really enjoy the stamp as well. Uh, this next card is from uh, Great Britain, and it says uh, the British weather, and uh, this says uh, winter, and it's uh, it's a man with an umbrella and clouds and rain. And then it says summer, and it's a man with uh, clouds and uh, rain. Um, once again, I've never been to Great Britain. It is probably the number one place of my on my list of places I'd like to go. So I'm not sure if this is accurate. I've heard the, the British weather can be tricky. Uh, so maybe uh, some of you who are from Great Britain that are watching uh, can tell me, is this an accurate depiction of uh, summer and winter weather in Great Britain? Uh, perhaps Jilly B uh, can chime in and let us know, uh, or John uh, from John Collect Stamps uh, also lives in Great Britain. Uh, let me know, is, uh, is this like the weather uh, where you're at? And so a lovely, uh, a lovely postcard from Great Britain. Uh, this person actually lives in uh, northern Wales. And uh, so they sent me this card, and it's uh, really, uh, really decorated very nicely uh, with the washi tape, and then, uh, and then of course, the uh, the stamps from Great Britain. So thank you so much uh, for that. Next is this postcard. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted uh, this postcard the day I got it. Uh, this is a blue cat postcard. And it is my first ever, and uh, as of right now, the only Blue Cat postcard uh, that I've ever received. Uh, I don't have it on my list of, um, of things to send me, uh, but I do enjoy them. I didn't really know that they were a thing 
until I started watching uh, Jilly's channel and Rob's channel and a couple other YouTube channels. So uh, very excited to, uh, to receive this Blue Cat uh, postcard. Uh, this comes from Canada, comes from Lula. Uh, and uh, so thank you so much for, uh, for sending me my first ever uh, Blue Cat postcard. Very excited about it. And then look at all the uh, look at all the nice stamps that uh, she's included. So thank you, uh, I really, uh, really appreciate it. And then here is uh, the next postcard that I've received. It says the fifth letter may be time to just your eyes smiling, and uh, this says that. Uh, this card is from a local bookstore. And uh, so thank you so much from this. This is from Taiwan. And then there are the, uh, the Taiwanese stamps. I've seen this one, but I haven't uh, seen this one uh, for the um, Year of the Rabbit uh, New Year. So excited to get that one as well. Now from Taiwan, we go to Finland. Uh, this is a beautiful card from uh, Sari in Finland. And it says, here's our church. This church was built in 1793. Uh, and then it was renovated in its current state in 1885. And then they say, Happy New Year. So Happy New Year to you as well. And uh, what a pretty church. And then those are the stamps. And then next is this Ho 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 Santa Claus Christmas card. And so this card comes from Australia. It uh, simply says it's Christmas time, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year uh, to you as well. And thank you for this, uh, for this wonderful Christmas card. And those all the Australian stamps. And uh, look at the... Uh, Look at the cancel there. Uh, so that's a great, uh, a great cancel. So thank you for that. And then the uh, next one is this one. And so I just received this one uh, yesterday or the day before, I believe. And uh, so this is from Ireland and it says, uh, hello and greetings from uh Rainy Ireland, uh, their name is Vilma. Uh, they live in Ireland and have lived there uh, for a number of years. And an uh, interesting place about where they live, um, uh, this is a wonderful church that is uh, there in Ireland. And I actually uh, looked it up. This is uh, Holy Trinity Abbey Church in, in Adair. Um, I looked it up and it's a, it's a beautiful church. Uh, and so I recommend looking it up and, and going and seeing it. Uh, but uh, where Vilma lives is where they filmed uh, one of my favorite movies, uh, which is Braveheart. Uh, they used the castle there in uh, her town to, uh, to film part of that movie. So I thought that was really neat. And then there is uh, the Irish stamp. This is uh, part of one of the biggest series or the biggest series of stamps I've ever heard of. There was a hundred stamps in the series uh, and they are... Uh, stamps that uh, tell or make up the history of Ireland. So this is a Rococo uh, silver candlestick. And uh, so really a, a great series of stamps and a really large series of stamps. So I have one more official postcard and it, uh, it came like this. Uh, if you live in the US, you might be familiar with this. I think uh, just about every country has something like this. Uh, I know Great Britain does, and uh, I'm pretty sure other countries do as well. Uh, but it's uh, an envelope, and it's uh, supposed to be for my postmaster. And it just says, hey, we're sorry, but uh, your item was damaged uh, in transit. And um, they, they apologize, and then they say that, uh, you know, the United States Postal Service sorts uh, 200 and something billion pieces of mail each year. And they try to ensure that... Uh, they arrived safely and I know accidents happen uh, so I wasn't upset uh, this is actually kind of a kind of a neat philatelic item to get um, and I'll uh, I'll keep it I'll keep this postcard 
uh, inside of this envelope. And so here it is. Uh, this is the postcard. This is from uh, this is from Russia. So beautiful, beautiful stamps. And then here is the postcard. Now, unfortunately, it is missing a, a good chunk. And uh, this postcard, if it could talk, I'm sure would have a story to tell. Uh, but thankfully, the person who sent uh, this postcard took a picture of it and put it on post crossing. So I'm going to throw it up right now on here uh, so you can see what this postcard was intended to look like. Uh, I always take pictures of uh, my postcards. Uh, when I send them off on post crossing, and I really appreciate uh, the people that uh, that do as well. Um, and in this case, it really come in handy because I'm missing bits of the postcard, uh, but I'm able to uh, to see what it was uh, what it was intended to look for. So thank you so much for sending this. And uh, even though it's damaged, I'm still uh, happy to receive it and glad that the uh, the post office got it to me. All right, next to uh, friend mail and swaps. Um, the first three cards are all from the same person. Uh, they are from Aaron, who lives in Denver, Colorado. Uh, Aaron has been um, really generous as of late to send me uh, postcards regularly. So, Aaron, thank you so very much. Uh, I don't have your address to uh, send you one in return. So, if you would like one in return, uh, send me a message on Instagram and, and let me know how to get a postcard to you. And I will um, be very happy to do that. Uh, but this is the first postcard uh, that Aaron sent me. I love it. I love all of the colors. And then look at all the bird stickers and the, the matching stamp. Uh, so thank you uh, so very, very much. And Aaron sent this right before the new year and says she can't believe uh, how uh, fast time goes by. And it does. It just seems to, uh, to fly by lately. And then there's this uh, Van Gogh inspired uh, postcard which I really, really like uh, that Aaron sent to me again. And so thank you uh, so very much uh, for that. And then look at all of the, uh, look at all the wonderful stamps uh, that she has included. So very nice. Thank you, Aaron, uh, for your generosity. I really appreciate it. And then the other day I received uh, this postcard. This is a postcard of Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, one of uh, one of my favorite uh, American authors for sure, and uh, actually one of my favorite over all authors. I've been reading Edgar Allan Poe since I was uh, since I was a young man, and um, I really enjoy his writing. And so uh, Aaron writes that uh, Poe was always one of her favorite writers too, and that she even had a go at dressing for him uh, for Halloween one time. Uh, so thank you so very much. I really appreciate this postcard. Aaron, and uh, then she has included these stamps uh, along with uh, an Edgar Allan Poe stamp. So once again, thank you for your kindness and generosity, Aaron. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, next is uh, this postcard. And uh, this comes from Brian in Michigan. And uh, I love this postcard. It made me chuckle when I received it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a handmade postcard. I'll try to get it a little closer. And uh, Brian has uh, taken all these stamps and put it on the postcard. And then he writes me the best message. Uh, he says, hi, Smokey. Finally found a use for these pesky CTOs. Uh, so if you uh, are not aware of it, a CTO stamp is uh, canceled to order. You can tell them mostly they come from... Um, Oh, uh, Soviet, uh, Soviet era bloc countries, uh, sometimes African countries. And they always usually have this distinct, uh, half circle or quarter circle postmark right there in the corner that just seems, uh, too good to be true, which means that it is, uh, they are, uh, they are stamps that are produced, uh, and they are postmarked. Sometimes they're postmarked. Uh, after production, sometimes the postmark is done during production, uh, but they're never intended to be used postally. So these stamps never traveled on a letter. Well, they have now, haven't they? Uh, but they were never traveled on a letter um, as postage. They, they are mainly uh, produced as uh, 
to make money and revenue uh, for postal services and uh, and to uh, to attract collectors. So in the philatelic world, there are some definite opinions when it comes to CTOs. There are people who feel like they have no place whatsoever in philately. Uh, there are people who tolerate them and say, you know what, they're here, uh, so we'll deal with them. And uh, then there are people who collect CTOs and like them. Uh, a lot of CTOs have really beautiful images on them. Uh, and then there are some people who feel like, look, a CTO is really not a stamp. It's a pretty sticker. Uh, but it wasn't ever intended to be used from the post office. Uh, so Brian uh, has found a way uh, to get use out of these CTOs. And I really like this postcard. As for my opinion of CTOs, I tend to fall somewhat in the middle. I'm not a fan of CTOs. I don't go out of my way to purchase them. I have uh, some CTOs in my collection when I've purchased, uh, you know, a, kind of a huge lot of stamps, a couple hundred stamps or whatever. There's always CTOs in them. Uh, but like I say, I don't go out of my way uh, to buy them. I'm more of a, hey, the, I know they're around, uh, so we're gonna, we'll deal with them. And uh, like I said, I've got a few in my collection, but uh, not, uh, not my favorite thing. I really like the stories. Uh, the stamps tail, and, uh, and I like stamps that, that go through the uh, that go through the system, or at least were intended uh, to go through the system. So that's my take on CTOs, um, anyway. And then uh, Brian has included the uh, the purple heart stamp. Uh, so thank you, Brian, for that. Uh, next is uh, this card. This is uh, of the Panama. Uh, canal and this comes from Renee. Uh, Renee uh, Lewis has her own channel here on YouTube uh, So please check Renee out. She does some really great videos. Uh, Renee does lots of uh, lots of swaps and lots of post crossing um, And uh, so she talks about that. So please check Renee out And so she sent me this postcard uh, She was recently uh, there. She said it was a highlight uh, seeing the Panama Canal, I've never been there, but uh, I'm sure it was a was a great uh, a great thrill. So thank you, Renee, for thinking of me uh, while you were on your trip and uh, for sending me this postcard. Um, I really appreciate it. And then there is the uh, the postcard stamp, and then she has sent me some fish. Uh, so once again, uh, thank you, Renee. Next is uh, this card. Isn't that a, just a beautiful image of uh, the trees and the buildings? Uh, and this comes from Rob. Uh, Rob is that dad guy um, on YouTube. So please check out Rob's channel. Uh, Rob does uh, post crossing. He does stamps. He goes on adventures around his town. He did a great video recently. Uh, Rob works for uh, Canada Post. He did a great video where he shows uh, the journey that your letter takes from the minute you put it in the mailbox. Uh, kind of a, how it um, arrives at the post office and goes to the uh, the different stations of the post office and then finally out to be delivered. So I thought a really creative video, an informative video, and I really enjoyed it. So check out check out Rob. So Rob says, uh, he sent this on December 20th. He says, Happy New Year. Christmas uh, will be over by the time you get this. Uh, but uh, But let's remain festive, Rob. And then Rob has uh, decorated all the way around with washi tape and a really big Santa sticker. And then the uh, stamp from Canada there. Uh, so thank you, Rob. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very, very much. Next is this postcard. Uh, has a has a raven on it. And an interesting story. It says, my bank uh, printed these cards to encourage us to share uh, kindness and represent Baltimore, which is home of Edgar Allan Poe uh, and the Baltimore Ravens. They encouraged us to send notes of gratitude to family, friends, and even your local uh, library, fire, or police station. Uh, hashtag share kindness. So what a great idea. Uh, the, the bank said, hey, let's do something. Let's send a note of encouragement out to people, uh, to your friends or your family or uh, first responders. So I think that was a great idea. Unfortunately, the person didn't sign this card. I think I know who this is. I think this was, uh, uh, I think I know who this is. Uh, I think this was Lila uh, who sent me this. So Lila, if this was you, uh, 
drop me a message on uh, in Instagram and and uh, let me know that this was you. If this was somebody else, uh, send me a message and let me know uh, that this was you. But uh, regardless of of who sent it, uh, thank you so much. And what a what a great idea. Uh, speaking of Lila, uh, the next card I have is from her. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. This is a thick card. And it is thick uh, because uh, there is a postcard in here. Uh, or the, the postcard inside of it is actually a puzzle of a stamp. And uh, so Lila has sent me this. And I haven't opened it. I, I sent her a message. And I said, hey, I'm going to wait and uh, open it during my video. So, to be honest, I am uh, really thrilled that it, it made it through the postal system. And uh, there wasn't, uh, wasn't any damage to it. Sometimes when you get, you know, thick items or odd-shaped uh, items, things that are out of the norm... They, uh, sometimes they have difficulties. Oh, yeah. So this is, uh, look, the, uh, the entire, the entire postcard is, uh, is a puzzle. And, uh, so it, it tells all about, all about this, uh, the stamp design. So that is great. I've never seen one of these before and, uh, really excited about it. Uh, so I guess if I wanted, I could, uh, I could take this apart and put it back together again. Uh, but I think I'll just, uh, I'll probably put it in my, uh, in my postcard album just like that and, uh, make sure that it is kept safe. So thank you, Lila. Thank you so much. Uh, one more postcard, uh, to go. Uh, and it, uh, came in, uh, this envelope and, uh, Look at the, the stamps and the, uh, the cancel. Just beautiful. Uh, this, uh, this cover itself is a, is a beautiful piece of, uh, of philatelic art. And uh, I will keep this cover in my collection. Uh, this is uh, from Basil. Uh, Basil is in India. Uh, Basil, I know you're watching, so thank you so much. Uh, Basil let me know that this was coming, that he was waiting uh, till Christmas when... Uh, where he's at in India comes out with a special uh, with a special cancel, and then this is the postcard uh, that Basil sent uh, sent to me, actually to me and and my wife, uh, and wishing us uh, wishing us a Merry Christmas, and so beautiful image and a, a really thoughtful message uh, that uh, that Basil wrote to me. So thank you, Basil. Uh, thank you for your friendship and uh, for your support of this channel. I really really appreciate it. All right, so that's it uh, for the uh, for the incoming mail uh, for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I know this has been a longer video uh, than usual, but we had a lot of mail to go to. And I just want to say a, a really sincere thank you uh, to everyone who has reached out and uh, sent me a, a postcard over the last several weeks. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, once again, those of you that I usually swap with, um, new cards are coming to you. Uh, really, really soon. So, uh, so thank you for your patience. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we're almost uh, to 250 subscribers, and uh, I'm really excited about that. Every time uh, we get new subscribers, um, I get really excited, and uh, I'm really thankful that uh, you come on this journey with me, and it, it means so much. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, also the bell icon, so you can be notified as soon as future episodes are available to watch. And uh, please leave me a comment. I uh, read every comment. I respond to every comment. And uh, and I enjoy them. Let me know what your favorite postcard was. Um, let me know how, uh, how your 2023 is going. We're almost a month into this. And uh, boy, is it flying by. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.